everyone and welcome back to Maisie's Garden. This is the weekly general reading for the sign of Taurus. This could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus sign. This, um, if it does not resonate, I do encourage you to check the other signs of your chart. If you'd like a personal reading with me, um, my email and links to my social media are in the description box below. Uh, come on over to my Facebook and Instagram and hang out. You know, reach out to me. Um, I do go live on the Facebook for daily vibe checks where I, I t pick a couple of cards from my Super Attractor deck uh, that come out and um, we kind of just check the vibe of the day. All right, so um, this is the crystal grid for the week. I do have a picture up on Facebook and Instagram with a little bit closer so you can actually see the crystals a little bit better. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, this is, uh, for the week of August 16th through the 22nd. I am using Sacred Traveler and Shadowscapes again. I did get a few new decks in, um, and I will be using those. Uh, I just want to get familiar with them first before I, you know, take them out. So you guys will be seeing some new decks here shortly. I hope your guys' last week was awesome. And let's see what we got this week. All right. Sacred Travelers, putting it aside. Shadowscapes has been shuffled and cut already. So let's see what your overview is. The Wheel of Fortune. There's some destiny at play here. There's major change happening for you. And the wheel is now turning in your favor. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's like major, to me, it's like major destinies at play here. Possibly with a relationship. See how that plays out. We'll see how that plays out. Monday, Ace of Wands. Wow. Tuesday, Page of Swords. Wednesday, The Star. Thursday, The Chariot. Friday, the sun. Saturday, king of swords. Interesting. Aries had the same exact placement, king of swords here on Saturday. And Sunday, queen of wands. Okay. Okay. Yeah, with the wheel of fortune. Yeah, there's some major change happening here. Especially in the beginning of the week with this ace of wands, you got a, a new beginning. Passionate new beginning. Possibly, um, you know, maybe a change in perspective. Maybe um, you are stepping forth passionately into just something new. Something new is coming for you. You're feeling new. You're feeling confident. Taurus. All right. And Tuesday is the Page of Swords. This is a truthful communication. This could be someone coming in with some truth or you're just speaking your truth. Someone who, you know only <clears throat> doesn't really, you know, like injustice or anything that's not, <clears throat> um, you know, like straightforward or played by, you know, no underhandedness type thing. Okay. Maybe true, you know, like a new beginning that's, you know, just really honest and just. And then Wednesday you have the star card. This is a uh, wish fulfillment and healing. Major, major wish fulfillment and healing. This is this could be the sign of Aquarius. You could be um, dealing with an Aquarius. But there's like major healing happening here. There's some level of wish fulfillment. There's a new beginning that's maybe a wish fulfillment for you because then Thursday is the chariot, right? The chariot and that's balancing forward movement. Could be with a, a Cancer chariots a cancer sign but um there's just some kind of try and you're feeling very triumphant with it so there's some kind of triumphant balance moving forward maybe even you know pretty fast there could be a new beginning coming in here pretty fast healing coming in some truth something very quick moving straight into friday which is the sun this is the happiest card of the deck. This is like just pure happiness, getting what you want, shining the light on, you know, but 
Ace of Wands and the Sun. Be careful of pregnancy as well this week if you do not want to get pregnant, Taurus. Um, but yeah, you're like moving straight into some happiness. And, you know, maybe you've been thinking about it or this could be, you know, an Aries Leo. I mean, not Leo. Aries Libra Gemini could be, you know, or a Aries Leo Sag. Because not only, like, is it in your mind that you know how to move and when to move and you, and you, you know, you actually move pretty fast in it. It's like you're, you're also very, like, passionate about it with Sunday. This is like moving forward, knowing your worth with passion, you know, creativity, very confident, standing in your power. This is a beautiful spread, Taurus. There's some kind of change because the overview was changed, right? Some kind of destiny at play here where there's some kind of wish fulfillment happening for you. Very quick forward movement into happiness. Wow, yeah, huge transformations are happening for you. Wow, Taurus, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Death card, major transformation. There's some kind of truth with this Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Someone's coming to speak their truth or is just speaking very truthfully, some kind of moving in a just way, you know, not, not being underhanded, not, this is someone, you know, they're just, there's, Fast forward movement into transformations. There's some kind of stability, nurturing. Um, maybe, you know, you're, you are, this, you know, could be you and yourself being very, uh, you know, stable, abundant, uh, being able to provide for oneself and family, you're move, you're walking in your truth, and you're ha having like a major transformation. This also could be endings, um, but I don't see it as an ending here. There's some kind of healing going on. There's some kind of new beginning and transformation that's happening within you this week, Taurus. Ooh, the devil! You could be um, dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, there could be a level of toxicity here uh, or addictions. Maybe there's an ending of toxicity and addictions and anything that was negative and you are going into a new beginning. Yeah, manifesting. Gemini or Virgo to me because it's mercurial. Um, manifesting a beautiful... Yes. Oh, wow. These two came out to kind together. This is like major reconciliation, forgiveness, celebration, joy, happiness. There's, there's some kind of ending to some toxicity and negativity, addictions. There's some kind of healing going on here and you are manifesting either some kind of reconciliation or you're manifesting something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness and it's going to feel like you've released a lot of things renewed. And the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment, because the Wheel of Fortune was at the bottom of the deck, it um, that talks about, heavily talks about, uh, um, the divine being, sorry, the divine being uh, called in here. So there's some kind of transition, healing, and I really feel like the universe has a major hand in this new beginning that's happening. Uh, Seven of Cups, options, illusions, confusion. There might have been some kind of, you might feel a little maybe confused by this. What does the Seven of Cups mean? Maybe there's a lot of options. The Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands, maybe, you know, confusing communication. Maybe you guys... Um, are having a hard time communicating or there was just some weird communication and that's where this truth, someone's coming in and speaking their truth. You also could be confused about how to move forward. Also, to me, this is, you know, uh, confusions, illusions because of opportunities and how, you know, starting a long journey, how to move forward. Maybe you're a little confused how to move forward, but you're manifesting it. You're manifesting some kind of 
release, renewal, transformation, new beginning. You're releasing and ending any kind of negativity or toxicity and you're moving to what's going to make you extremely happy. There could be a reconciliation possibly with somebody here this week. And there's a huge transformation in the negativity or, you know, you guys are just moving in. Somebody's moving into a very happy, stable new beginning. It's very balanced. The moon. Yeah, confusions. Possibly needing to use your intuition. How to navigate this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that there's, there was, you know, maybe there's hidden emotions here or there's confusing emotions and you're just not sure how to move forward, right? Some kind of truth needs to come in. Something needs to, some kind of toxicity needs to end, okay? Some kind, something negative needs to end so that you can move forward into your happiness because there's some kind of truth and clarity about a very strong right? A very strong connection. Or this is, you gain truth and clarity and you make a decision. Boom. Because you're no longer confused. Boom. It's like you're a little confused and boom, truth and clarity come in. Having, and you move forward in balance and there's healing and there really could be a really strong connection with somebody who you feel is a very um, strong, you know, strong really, really strong connection. Okay. Could be having a reconciliation. There's some kind of truth here. Making a decision. Page of pentacles. This is like moving, you know, coming in more with more, uh, friendly, positive communication, possibly offering. Yeah. Positive communication, possibly offering to move into calmer waters. You are releasing some kind of negativity. You, guys, so you are moving away from anything that is negative. You are coming out of very turbulent waters and moving into calmer waters. And it could be with somebody, if this is about a relationship, okay? A new beginning is coming in with somebody that you feel extremely strong with. This could be Gemini. Um... Cancer heavily here because we have the moon and chariot. Scorpio. Mm, Capricorn. Leo. Aquarius. There's a lot of signs out here. I don't know if judgment. Uh, Virgo or um, Gemini to me. Anyway, moving into much calmer waters. You're moving away from anything that was negative. Six of Wands, victory. Yeah, there's major victory happening here. You could also be getting a lot of attention. Oh, wow. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Okay. There may be a really independent energy here or you're just feeling really like trapped, right? Uh, mentally trapped. You didn't, I feel like you're confused, right? Or there was some level of confusion or level of being trapped in a negative mindset or negative, just something negative here that I feel like is healing this week. You're moving away from that. It's ending. The negativity is ending. And the Ten of Pentacles is out here, okay? The Ten of Pentacles, this is like happy, complete happiness. If you're not dealing with an Aries, I'd be surprised because Aries spread was very, or, or you have Taurus and Aries are in your chart because this is very similar. I'm getting similar energy as to the Aries spread. Anyway, um, you know, maybe even you know, thinking about just even being independent in oneself, you maybe were feeling trapped and like you didn't know what to do. And I just feel like you're moving through whatever this is, this, this block is, this mental entrapment is, and you're moving into a very, uh, positive, stable, happy home life, you know, just, you're coming into something very positive here. Something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. A lot of balance. You're going to have victory here. 
Anything else? Anything else for this spread? Outcome here? King of Wands, got the Queen of Wands out here. The Empress, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay. I don't know if this has been with somebody that it's been a very long, um, maybe it's been a long battle here or there's just something that feels very tiring and burdensome, but I think that that is ending. Whatever the negativity that feels tired and burdensome because the King of Wands Got a queen of wands out here. You got somebody's a perfect match out here, okay? The empress, somebody you feel extremely creative, abundant. This is this is your card, Taurus. So this is you feeling passionate and abundant. Even though it's been a long thing and you feel burdened, I, I don't feel like... I think, you've, I think you still have the fight. I think you ha still have fight in you to get over the burdens, to allow this negativity to end because there's some kind of happiness that you're moving towards coming out of some kind of illusion. Yeah, strength card, Leo, Sun Leo. So you can have Leo placements or, yeah, there's just a new perspective happening here. And uh, it's asking you to have courage to get through whatever mental constriction that you're having so that a new beginning can come in. You are gonna be moving, there's some kind of clarity and truth coming in. It's more truth to me than clarity. And there's some kind of truth coming in and it's kind of making you recalibrate and move forward, healing and move forward into happiness and stability. Like the mental constriction is no longer going to be there which is very beautiful, Taurus. Let's get a couple of Oracle cards to finish this off. Any other messages, Spirit, for Taurus for the week of the 16th through the 22nd? Begin now. Take your first step. Yeah, I, I don't know if like maybe you're scared to, to step into a new beginning. Maybe you're feeling, you know, just really confused about how to move forward, but... Taking your first step, I feel like you will start moving forward much more faster than you think straight into your happiness. Cleansing waters, purification activates vibrant life force. Yeah, there is some kind of negativity being purged here. Uh, you are, you know, being called to have the strength to move through some kind of some kind of negativity, something that's you feel bound to or chained down to or just some kind of toxic stuff you're moving away from. Could be with somebody else. You could, a reconciliation could be, you know, coming in. You could be, man, you know, manifesting, just moving into calmer waters in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Yeah, see, I feel like when I said the divine, because like the Wheel of Fortune was at the bottom of the deck, when I... The divine's got to play in here. Like, this is going to be much easier than you think it is. I think that just taking the first steps, having the courage to move forward, having the courage to take the first steps, make the decision, is what is going to catapult you forward into a lot of healing, a lot of clarity, and basically moving towards your happiness. What's going to make you extremely happy? What's going to bring in a level of stability for you? Wow, Taurus, what a beautiful reading. I'm so excited for you like this. I feel very, this felt very similar to the Aries reading. So maybe you guys need to go and check that out. And maybe there's some messages in there for you as well. Um, but... You know, this felt very just new beginning, allowing a lot of negativity to end. You know, if this is with somebody else, you know, possible reconciliation and healing happening. Um, you know, there is whatever you're moving into, though, it is going to be quite passionate and quite uh, creative, abundant, fertile for you. OK, especially with the Empress the ace of wands and the sun out here please uh be very weary of pregnancy this week 
Um, I usually don't get that, but this is like heavy in this, you know, if you don't want to get someone pregnant, you know, be careful here. Okay. Um, I wish you all the luck during this. I, you know, please just take the time to move through your mental constrictions, why you're feeling entrapped, whatever feeling is negative, because there is a victory at play here and it will come through. Okay. You are going to get that 10 of pentacles, that happy home life, that wish fulfillment. And I feel like you're going to move very balanced into it. Beautiful. Okay, Taurus, I hope this resonated for you. If it did not resonate, I encourage you to please check the other signs of your chart. Um, if you need a personal reading, uh, all of the ways you can contact me, the links are in the description box below. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye, Taurus.